Now, your midday Arklamas news update. And it's a good Monday afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to NBC News Daily. I'm Randy Stone with your local NBC 10 update. Well, polls closed over the weekend for the general election in Louisiana. And as your local election headquarters, we have a look at those results. Well, first of all, the constitutional amendment that would prohibit non-citizens to register or vote in Louisiana passes with roughly about 73% of the residents voting yes. The second amendment to the state constitution, which would make appointments to the state civil service commission need Senate confirmation, is going to pass with 71% of the votes as well. Rounding off those amendments, Louisiana passed the amendment to make members of the State Police Commission subject to confirmation by the Louisiana Senate. Again, around 71% of the vote on that. We also want to look at some mayoral elections in Northeast Louisiana. In Delhi, incumbent Jesse Washington defends his seat as he wins the mayor's race by 186 votes. People of Sterlington have spoken and have elected Matt Talbert as their new mayor. Talbert wins with 52% of the vote. But for more election results, head to our website, myarklamas.com, for details. Well, President Joe Biden is expected to sign the Respect for Marriage Act, which solidifies countrywide projections and protection for the same-sex interracial marriages. Macy Davis spoke with a couple of people who are still awaiting that final step. We're just filled with a lot of relief and gratitude, honestly. Sadie Reagan married her wife last Sunday. We actually um, met for the first time on December 4th, uh, 2021, and had our wedding an exact year later. Just days before the Respect for Marriage Act passed Congress. This marriage equality bill was going to be monumental no matter what. But for us to be getting married basically at the same time definitely adds a layer of meaning to it. A 2015 Supreme Court ruling legalized same-sex marriage. After justices voted to overturn Roe v. Wade in June, Reagan said she was worried the 2015 ruling would be next. There was some panic. We thought, you know, what will happen in terms of our kids? Uh, what will happen in terms of um, our finances. Jordan Rood is the president of the River Valley Equality Center. He says while the bill's passing is historic and groundbreaking, it doesn't cover everything. States are forced to recognize marriages that have happened in other states, but it does take away that you know issue where Obergefell allows, you know, it allows marriages to happen in all states. Rood doesn't expect the 2015 ruling to ever be overturned, but he says the need for this legislation raises questions within the LGBTQ plus community. If something like a Obergefell can be overturned, what else might happen in the future? It feels for, I think a lot of people, like there's been kind of a step backward in, in terms of the social atmosphere toward LGBTQ people. After a week of unforgettable moments, Reagan is happy and hopeful looking to the future. It makes us remember a time when this wasn't possible, and now we don't have to worry about a time where it won't be again. And now, exclusive Storm Tracker Doppler weather from the most experienced meteorologist in the Arklamas, Jared Floyd. Mid 60s for highs today, cloudy and gloomy across the region. Winds out of the northeast and don't really expect to see a whole lot in the way of peaks of sunshine through the course of the day. Uh, while we will get rid of the fog and the drizzle in most spots, uh, we won't see a whole lot in the way of clearing in terms of cloud cover in our area. Lows tonight in the mid to upper 50s. Most spots will pretty, pretty much see temperatures steady falling into the upper 50s shortly after sunset and then staying there through the overnight. In fact, maybe even climbing a few degrees closer to 60 as we start the morning off tomorrow ahead of a cold front that'll bring strong to severe thunderstorms potentially back into the area tomorrow. Now due to the scattered nature of a lot of those storms, not everyone will see severe weather, but the environment will be favorable for strong to severe storms as we go through the day. We'll look for highs in the 60s to follow. And again, this is a pattern changing cold front that'll bring some bigger changes in store as we head toward the upcoming weekend. Highs in the 40s and 50s at that point with lows falling back into the 30s. So obviously some bigger changes that are likely to hang around through at least most of the rest of the month of December, but it looks like uh, through December and perhaps even into the early parts of the new year, temperatures will be back uh, to and below normal uh, in many areas. So make sure you have ways of receiving severe weather alerts tomorrow. We'll keep you updated with the latest as we progress through the afternoon and evening. Gosh, keep it here for that uh, severe weather. It's coming. NBC News Daily continues now.